What's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode number 20 of the series where I attempt to fill as many collection log spots as possible on my maxed Ultimate Iron Man. So I'm going to be starting this one out on 546 total collections logged. In the last one, I finished the Monkey Backpacks log, and I also started trying to go for the Big Fish. I got the Big Bass and the Big Swordfish, and I'm currently over the drop rate on the Big Shark. I uh, also went and did some LMS, and I got up to 50 total wins with 19 total slots obtained from that. Um, also, at the end of the last video, I opened a bunch of clues that I had from going for the big shark, and I ended up getting a master clue, so that is going to be the first thing I'm starting with on this video. Well, step two is already an emo clue. Thankfully, it is one of these stashes that I have built already. Well, this sucks. Uh, step six of the clue, and I get hit by uh, the armadillo helmet, which is basically the only... <laughs> only one I can't do on here. So as you guys saw in the last video, I was sitting here trying to get the big shark, and I'm currently at about 6,000 total shark cuts. I did, literally just got a beginner clue on the, the first one too. So I'm gonna do this for maybe like 10 more hours if I don't end up getting it in 10 hours. I'm just gonna move on and come back to it later. Oh, let's go! Yes! Oh my gosh, it's done. 6,400 sharks. So with the big shark, I now have uh, all three of the big fish uh, completed. In total, it took me, I think, like 85 hours to get all three of these. Uh, kind of a long time for uh, three log slots. Also have a, a few more clue scrolls here uh, I can open up. Let's go ahead and open up the rest of the clue scrolls I have here. 10 beginner clues. I opened up like 100 of these in the last video and I get a unique... Oh, I just got one. Rune Simi Ornament Kit, a Sarah Domin one. That puts me up to 13 now out of the 16, so only three more left to go on this log. All right, and finally, the five other clues, three total easies, nothing from those, and then two medium clues, uh, just duplicate Crozier there, and a, uh, another duplicate item. So yeah, another uh, really long grind completed. Okay, with these done, there's a few other things in the miscellaneous log that I want to go for really quick. Uh, the first of those is going to be the full Skull Scepter. Uh, and that is going to be these four pieces right here. There's the skull right half. Uh, these are all 1 in 33 drops. This one actually took me uh, 99 kills, so three times over the drop rate for this thing. Now that I have this one, though, the next one I'm going to be going for is the bottom of the scepter, and that is going to be from Flesh Crawlers. And there's the bottom of the scepter on a 30 KC. Also, that puts me up to 550 total log slots now, so on to the next piece. Hey, there's the top scepter on 48 kill count. Only one more left to go now. And that's the final piece on a 42 total Anku. So I can use these two on each other and then combine them uh, for the skull scepter. And then finally, I can go ahead and invoke it here. And that is also a hard task completed uh, for Varrock. So heading into the uh, miscellaneous log here. Uh, there's two more things I want to do in here, and that is going to be the fresh crab claw and the fresh crab shell. Uh, also, really quick, too, another thing I found pretty funny. If you look at my inventory, you'll see I got a beginner clue, easy clue, medium clue, and a hard clue from uh, just getting the scepter. So these two are really fast to get. It's a uh, 1 in 16 drop rate from the little crabs and a 1 in 8 drop rate from the big crabs. Uh, so yeah, getting the two should take like five minutes or something. Um, or like two minutes since I already got the first one. Now I just need the claws. Oh, yeah, ended up taking basically two minutes to get. So there's both of those done. Okay, so I'm going to move my focus now from the miscellaneous log over to the Slayer log. There's a few easy things in here I could do. Like the bronze boots, iron boots, steel boots, and um, I got the dragon boots before... Uh, the log came out, so I have to go and get those again, sadly. Also, a few random things in here I'm going to be going for as well, like the uh, crawling hand, uh, the cockatrice head, and I'll probably go for a few of these mystic pieces as well, but I'm going to start out going for the boots. So first up here for the bronze boots, I have to kill cave crawlers, and the bronze boots from these are a 1 in 128 uh, drop rate, so even though I can kill them relatively quickly... Um, it's, it's still a decently high drop rate, so this could take a while. Hey, there's the bronze boots on 123 KC, uh, so pretty much on the right. So next up here, um, for the iron boots, I can kill cave slime for these, and that would definitely be faster, but I can also kill these for it, and what's nice about these is not only do I have the, uh, 1 in 128 chance of getting the iron boots, I also have a 1 in 512 chance of getting the mystic boots light, and also a 1 in 1,000 chance of getting the head drops. See, I eventually need to kill a bunch of these anyway to get those two items, so I figure it's definitely worth going for the boots here too. Hey, there we go. There are the iron boots on 181 KC. Well, I actually just got back-to-back -back iron boots as well. That's 
that's wild. So I'm getting about 400 kills an hour here. It is really fast. So I'm going to stay here and go for the head drop and the mystic boots as well. A 237 KC. There is already the head drop. So I got really lucky on that drop rate. Uh, now I just have the boots left to go. Random little update here. Just uh, managed to get 106 strength as well. That was uh, something random. 15 million uh, defense XP. That's pretty cool. And a few minutes later, there is also 35 million total attack XP. Uh, it is kind of funny how close together those two ended up being. There they are. Mystic Boots Light on, let me see here, 1,035 KC. But it go two times over the rate, but um, pretty much on the rate for the uh, head drop as well. So actually pretty close to drop rate for all three of the items. I uh, also have five medium clues. These drop at like a rate of 1 in 120 or something. So I have a few of these to open. Okay, so yeah, these five medium clues. Let's go ahead and open these. Nothing from that one. Nothing from that one. Uh, nothing again, and uh, no unique from all five of those. That sucks. All right, onto the steel boots now, which is going to be a 1 in 128 drop as well from the Pyrophenes. And there they are, steel boots on 168 KC. Uh, so in terms of the boots now, I only have dragon boots left, and I'm going to be saving these until I get the ornament kit for them since I'll be able to store them in my house, uh, and I can get those from hard clues. So that'll be a while until I go for those. Uh, also, two more medium caskets here to open. And uh, per, per usual, nothing from those. Next up here, I'm going to go for the Crawling Hand, which is a 1 in 500 drop rate. You guessed it, from Crawling Hands. Uh, they're level 12 and like level 8 and stuff, so uh, it's pretty much going to be running around one-hitting these until I get it. So thankfully, the things that I'm going um, dry on are all the easy things that go pretty quickly. Uh, it took me a thousand kills, so two times over the drop rate to get this. But uh, now that that is completed, the next thing I'm going to be moving on to are the Mud Skipper Hat and Flippers. So these two I can get from uh, killing these mogers here. The drop rates are pretty good. It's a 1 in 25 for the hat and a 1 in 64 for the flippers. And there's the flippers after 17 KC. Well, that was quick. There's the mud skipper hat as well on 27 KC. So that took like uh, 5 minutes or something to get both of those. And that is going to put me up to 30 out of the 74 total in here. Uh, there was a few more mystic things I wanted to go for, but I'll probably just do that another time. Um, so the next thing I'm going to be doing, you guys will be able to tell from the title at this point. Um, I was going to wait with clues, um, to do any of these until I had like as many master stashes filled as I could. Um, since you do have a chance of getting master clues from these, uh, from easy clues, for example, it's a one in 50 chance to get them, but I've been wanting to grind, uh, some clues for a really long time. Right now though, I'm able to do more than half of the, uh, emote steps for master clues and I can do every single Sherlock step. So... I am going to try to do some of these. Um, I'll probably end up burning some possible master clues that I could have gotten in the future. The next grind here, I'm going to be trying to do a thousand total easy clues. And just like last time, the place I'm going to be doing this is in the ham hideout. I like to run into this eastern room over here because they have a chance of getting stuck in like random corners. And they tend to move behind the desks and stuff, so uh, it is pretty easy to get them stuck here without even trying. Uh, the ham members themselves have a 1 in 50 drop rate on these, um, never going to be failing um, as well. I think it's like a 1 in 48.5, 47.5, something like that with one of the diaries completed, so that's the rate I'll be getting them. Uh, last time I did this, I think I was able to do like 18 an hour on the best hour I did, but I want to test it again, so we'll see you guys back in about an hour. Also, another thing I wanted to mention is that um, if you guys are to know with these clues here you can actually hold shift and um right click them and you can set notes on these uh, it makes it a lot easier for um doing things at a glance and making them a lot more afk uh, for instance on this one i set it to portal nexus a basically for all my steps i can just go to my max cape and left click it and it'll teleport me to my house and then my nexus is right here and i can just go straight to it and uh, you'll see all the teleports correspond with like numbers or letters. So setting all those notes on it makes it so I don't really have to pay much attention uh, to what it actually says. I don't have to read them all the time. So just a tip for you guys doing clue scrolls. Okay, yeah, well, having the Nexus didn't seem to change much here. I started out with two, so I ended up getting 18 total easies done that hour. I said the same thing last time. I probably expect between like 15 and 20, uh, depending how lucky I get on the... Uh, pickpockets, also 15,000 thieving XP that hour. So yeah, doing a thousand is gonna take a pretty long time, like over 60 hours to get all of them. Ooh, a baguette from the sandwich lady. Come on, stale baguette. Uh, literally never lucky. So here's the first uh, casket update. I'm up to 100 total now, and I've also gained 100k thieving XP and 200 total caskets now. Uh, so there's this guy here that has been doing easy clues with me. <laughs> And uh, every time we run in here, whoever gets in first, we just keep closing the door on each other. <laughs> I thought I'd just throw it in here because I get a laugh out of it every time it happens. And uh, 300 total easies now. And once again, here's another.
another update. There is 400 total caskets. Um, I'm going to take a quick break here. There's something I need to do. So I did mention I'm going to be getting a decent amount of masters from this. And uh, I'll show you guys on the screen. Um, there is uh, a chance of getting a fallow step, and you'd have to show him one of these items. So there's something on here called the uh, Greenman's Ale Mature. And uh, in order to make this, um, you have to basically brew it. It takes, I think it can take up to seven days or something. Um, but in order to get a higher chance at brewing this, I actually have to go and get an item called the Stuff. And you can get this from Trouble Brewing. Um, it's really easy to get to. All I have to do is play one game. Uh, just bring my ult on the other team so the game can start. And then just do some stuff with buckets of water. And at the end of the game, I'll get 100 points. And that'll be enough to buy two of the stuff that I can use on both of the uh, brewing bats in the game. And there's the game over. And as you can see in my inventory, there is 100 pieces of eight. So I can go over to Honest Jimmy here. And I'm going to go ahead and buy two of these. Of course, um, since it is my first time buying it, it's going to go into the collection log there. Um, so now that I have both of these, I actually have to go and get eight Harlanders as well uh, in order to fill both of them. Okay, so I got everything in my inventory I need to fill up both of the fermenting vats. There's one in Keldegrim and another one in Port Phasmatis. So, so this is uh, my first time doing this as well. A lot of you guys probably don't even know what this is, but uh, yeah, just two buckets of water, two barley malts, uh, the stuff, at four Harlanders, and one ale yeast. And once all of this is in here... Uh, apparently this can take up to like seven days or something to ferment. I don't know what the shortest amount of time is. I think it's like a couple of days or something. There is a 64% chance that this will uh, mature. Um, it's going to suck pretty bad if both of these fail because it takes such a long time for it to happen. But yeah, now that both of these are done, I'm going to head back to doing my clues. Oh, there's a uh, another thieving level. It's level 105. And there is a 500 total easies done. I'm halfway done now. Um, also at this point, I'm probably averaging more like 12 an hour. Uh, I know I said it would be more, but uh, over time, I'm pretty lazy with this. So uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely a lot less. Oh, another baguette, please. <laughs> no. And that is the 600th easy casket. Oh, dude, no way. Another baguette chance. Oh, one of these days, one of these days, I'll get it. All right, 55 hours later, I'm up to 669 easy caskets. So uh, originally, I was going to stop at 1,000, but I decided just to stop here since with the amount that I've done so far, and with all these, it's going to be a thousand total that I've opened. So when it comes to the uh, Greenman's Ale, this one actually successfully turned into uh, Mature Ale. So each one of these that is successful, I'll, I'll be able to use eight ales from. Uh, the other one is still fermenting, so I'm not 100% sure on if that'll uh, be good or not. When it comes to the Easies, though, I am at 72 out of 131 total so far. And uh, when it comes to items, I'm looking for the big items in here are these top four capes here. I'll show you guys on the screen. These are all a 1 in 5,616 drop rates. And uh, the main thing other than those are these two items right here, the Monk Robe uh, G. These are 1 in 14,000, and these are usually what make people go like insane amounts of uh, easies to green log it. So if there's anything from this opening I want to get, it's both of these pieces. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start opening these. Uh, as I mentioned before as well, there is a 1 in 50 chance that I get a Master Clue from these. Uh, for the most part, I'm just going to be showing you guys the uh, uniques I get. I'm not going to sit here and go through with music like I did the last time. So I'll uh, see you guys if I get a unique. Ooh, there's a double unique from that one. Iron plate skirt T and also steel plate legs T. It's a uh, really good start here. Well, there's a steel plate skirt G and also with that comes the very first master clue. Only 12 caskets in. So two things here. Uh, first one, I got a uh, silver key since the first step was to do the shade catacomb. So... Uh, it takes like 20 minutes to do, so it's good to have this for future clues. Uh, and uh, second, on the uh, second step of this master, once again, Arma Helm Fallow Step, the only step I cannot do from Fallow. I get on both my master clues. Very unlucky. There is another unique on 355, a Blue Wizard Hat G. And about six more clues later, there is another master. Hey, let's go. The first master casket completed. Uh, I had a lot of fallow steps in this one, too. I had like four of the six steps were fallow, so it could have gone pretty bad again. And two more easies back into the opening. There is a sleeping cap, along with a blue elegant shirt that I already have. Hey, Sarah Dom in page four. I don't know why I'm so unlucky with these, but um, actually, let me go and check my shared log here. So I still need three pages, even though I have 1,100 clues done. Um, so I'm still looking to finish the Sarah book. <laughs> well, speaking of Sarah Diamond pages, there is another one on literally the next clue. <laughs> so I only need the uh, page one now to finish the book. 2.2 .2 mil. Wow, this thing cost a lot. Ham joint. I believe people use this. 
uh, somewhere for PVM. I remember people mentioning it. I don't know where it is off the top of my head, but 2.2 mil. And there's a black plate body H5, black plate body T. Next clue, a bronze full helm G, black plate skirt T as well. 400 total easies opened. There we go. Uh, last unique was on 393, so I went over 50 uh, easies to get this one. That's a uh, black skirt G. And four clues later is another master clue. Hopefully I can finish this one as well. Back to back six step masters. Awesome. No, oh, there's already another master clue. It's It's been literally three more easies. All right, this is step eight of this master clues. So I was able to do three out of the four so far. Ooh, an amulet of power T. Nice. That's worth 455k as well. And a couple clues later, there is uh, some more flared trousers. This is actually the third time I've had these. And uh, also a new unique with the Bob's purple shirt. Hey, there's the Sarah Dahman page one. That is the full Sarah Dahman book completed now. Uh, also, if I go into my shared now, uh, the only thing I need left uh, to complete the green log for the shared is the Guthics page two. Oh, and the very next clue, there's another master. So step eight of this master clue, as you guys can see on the left, is going to force me to do something that I should have done three years ago. Okay, well, there it is. Uh, we don't talk about it. Okay, and with this step completed, there is the fourth total master casket. 530 more easies left to open. Let's continue. A black plate body H4 and a black helm H1. Another unique from the next one, a uh, black full helm T. I actually got three uniques from this easy clue. And there is 500 total easies open, which means I get the large speed reward. I uh, don't know if I could put this in my house or anything. Uh, I guess it looks pretty cool though. Nice, some Zamorak robe legs. And the very next clue, a leather body G as well. Some iron plate legs G and a golden apron. That one's pretty cool. I don't think this one is rare though. Oh, it's one of the rarer ones, one in 2,800. It's like the, uh, the elegant pieces. And there is a black wizard robe T. Uh, also, here's a quick update on what everything's looking like. I'm up to 93 total items now. Oh, there we go. There's another master. That took quite a while. Also got it in uh, a clue with two uh, gold items. <laughs> it's a pretty cool looking one. And there is master casket number five. Nice. Another unique, a, a black wizard robe G. Ooh, there's another master clue. This is going to be uh, the seventh one. And there is another casket. I'm having really good luck on being able to complete these. There is a 600 total easies done, and I also get a, another unique from that. A bronze plate skirt G. And there are some black plate legs G. Ooh, and the very next clue, a green elegant skirt as well. Uh, other than the capes and stuff, the elegant is uh, really good to get because the drop rate is pretty bad on it. And a Bob's blue shirt. There is also a black plate body H1, uh, so this is a pretty cool spot. I'm only one away from hitting 100 now, and I'm also getting really close to 600 total collections logged. A, and there it is, 100 total easy slots filled with a bronze helm T. Ooh, another elegant piece. There is a blue elegant blouse. Nice, another piece of elegant. There is a green elegant skirt. And 700 total easies opened. It's been a while since the last master. I was on like 560, so almost three times over the drop right now. Ooh, a red beret, nice. Only three slots away from 600. Just kidding, I'm actually only two away. Oh wow, that's actually huge. Guthix page two, that is the uh, complete uh, shared treasure trail rewards done now. That's awesome. First green log on the clues page. Armadil robe legs, uh, also a really cool update with that one. Uh, go ahead and take this off here. I am now up to 600 total collections logged. Uh, another cool milestone for the account. I just noticed uh, as well in the chat here, uh, so I got 600 on this one, but if you scroll up, I uh, also got 600 on the last one, but if you scroll up further than that, I was 598, so apparently my log skipped 599 and gave me 600, and then it made up for that by giving me 600 again or something. I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on anymore. Ooh, and a few clues later, a bronze plate body T. Oh, that is, I believe, um, 200 total clues now without a master. Some pantaloons. Uh, this is... I'll give you guys another update on the log. So still no team capes, uh, unfortunately. And of course, none of the uh, monk robes G, which I kind of wasn't really expecting to get in this opening anyway. It'll be nice to get it like at least one of these capes though. Oh, there's another ham joint. Uh, another 2.2 mil to go drop to people at the GE. There is 800 total easies open, 200 left to go. Yes, there is the team cape. Nice, first team cape. That's what I wanted. Let's go, huge. And some Sarah Domin robe legs, red elegant shirt. Finally, there's a master. Oh my gosh, that was almost 300 clues to get that. Okay, hopefully another six step master here. Let's see, yep, there's another casket. Um, I think all of these except for one or two have been six steps, so 
We're getting some pretty good luck on the uh, the steps themselves. Okay, back to the easies, 146 to go. 900 total easies opened, and I get a Zamorak robe top on number 900. Hey, another master clue, nice. I've had like, um, man, maybe eight or so of these emote clues, and thankfully I've been able to do every single one of them so far, even though I have uh, around half of the stashes filled. Okay, a little bit of a dilemma here, as you can see from the left, I don't have this stash filled. Uh, I need a Ring of Wealth, a Death Tiara, and a Cape of Legends. Uh, as you can see on my inventory, I have been holding on to this uncut Dragonstone, so I'll be able to make the Ring of Wealth. Uh, the Cape of Legends, I can just go and buy. Uh, as for the Death Tiara, there's a few ways I could go about getting this. I could go to Dark Beasts and camp those like a 1 in 128 drop rate or something. The other thing I can do is, um, if you check the store here, uh, Death Talismans I can buy for 80 pearls. And if you guys remember from the last time I did Guardians of the Rift, um, go ahead and check this. I still have 56 searches I can do here. So I'm really hoping in these 56 searches I get enough pearls or I'm going to have to do the mini game for a bit. So uh, yeah, hopefully I get some good luck. Let's go. I got some good RNG. I got 93 pearls in about 30 searches. So I still have 30 left. So I can go over here, purchase the Death Talisman, and now I can go and make this stash. Okay, first thing to do here, I'm going to use the Tiara on the altar and make the Death Tiara. And I can go over here and build the stash. And this is going to be Master Stash number uh, 11 out of 23 now. And another Master Casket. Well, that's 950 clues opened. I only have 50 left to go. Nice, another Master Clue. I'm hoping I can get another one in these 48 uh, so I can get up to 10 Masters. That would be uh, pretty nice. Uh, so first step on this uh, right off the bat is another stash that I don't have, but it is a stash that I can go and build. So I need to go kill some uh, Black Dragons and then I can get all of these. Uh, death pile and then head over to Entrana. So the thing with the stash is that since it's on Entrana, I can't actually bring the uh, Black Dehyde made here, so uh, I had to bring all the supplies to make it on the island itself. Uh, thankfully, I realized I needed to do this because if I made all of this and I had to go and kill six more Black Dragons, it would have been pretty freaking annoying. But that is going to be a Master Stash number 12 built. Back to back emote steps. Thankfully, I can do both of them. Back to back to back emote steps, and uh, this one I cannot do, so sadly I have to drop this one. Oh wow, I actually managed to get another master clue. That is uh, really lucky. I only opened like uh, 15 more or something. Master casket number nine. Another pair of uh, flared trousers, that is number four. Okay, so sadly uh, my reaction to this one got uh, corrupted, so I'm just talking over it, but I did manage to get another team cape. That is going to be Team Cape number 10, so I only have 10 more clues left to go, so uh, the chance is pretty low that I get a third one, but to get two of the Team Capes in uh, 1,000 clues is uh, very good. Well, I only have five easy caskets left to open, so let's go through these uh, really quick. Really low chance I get another Master. So the final easy clue, there it is, 1,000 total easies completed. Let's head over into the collection log here. So I got 111 out of the 131, so I'm still looking for 20. Uh, two more team capes, and of course I didn't get uh, any pieces of the Monk Robe G, uh, which was expected. So I don't really know when I'll go back to doing more easies. It probably won't be a pretty long time. Uh, but I did end up getting 9 total Master Caskets from this. I got 11 total clues, so um, there's only 2 I wasn't able to do, which is pretty good. So uh, yeah, I have the 9 Master Caskets to open. There is a 1 in 15 chance that I get a Mimic from these. Um, so I'm just going to start going through them. Um, actually, let me show my Master Log. So I have 9 total completed, so this is going to double the amount of Masters I've done. Uh, and I have 3 items so far. Uh, so here we go, the first Master, and I get two uniques from it, Samurai Boots and a Lovakenge Hood, wow, that's a really good start. Alright, well, yeah, really good first clue, here is the next one, uh, nothing from this one, some Alks. Okay, on to the next one, some more Wines of Zamorak, six left to go, the next clue, a bunch of Alkables, and the next one here is a Mimic, nice. Okay, that is the fifth Mimic defeated, a... Uh, Definitely didn't cut it a little close there on HP or food, so uh, ignore that. Let's go ahead and open uh, Mimic number 5 here, uh, and <laughs> absolutely nothing from that. Well, 4 left to open, uh, so let's get back to it. 
another unique nice black demon mask that is a uh, unique number six from masters okay three left to go on to the next one another unique half moon spectacles and i just got more samurai boots as well final two here another <laughs> unique a fancy tiara. This is uh, turning out to be insane, dude. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. The final master clue for nothing. So 18 total now. And if we go into the master log, I'm up to eight total items. So I got six more uniques uh, from, what, nine caskets. So uh, very lucky here. Eight uniques and 18 total clues. No Bloodhound, uh, no Ring of Third Age from that Mimic, but overall, this ended up being pretty good. Uh, also up to 612 total collections log now. I think I was at like 500... Uh, and 60 or something before I started opening the easies. Uh, so yeah, with that opening done, that is going to do it for this video. Uh, once again, 612 collections logged. Uh, it's going to take a while to edit this one. It's probably going to end up being a pretty long video. Uh, anytime I do clue openings, it ends up um, being more towards like 25 minutes or so. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing in the next one. Uh, I might go back to Spindle. I'm not 100% sure yet, but it was a uh, fun little break from everything I was doing. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.